Okay, I mean, that, that, that's a pretty big game changer. <laughs> yeah, it is. And like you said, with, with the A-Gate, you're still getting the smart circuit option. You still get the generator recharge option. So you really can do both. It depends on the homeowner's needs. So you can have up to... Uh, Tr Trish, and I, I, think, I think installers are really going to receive this product well. The smarter way to go solar. Hey everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming back to you from InterSolar North America, which is the big solar conference here in San Diego. Now this afternoon, I'm joined by Tristan Cronshaw from Franklin WH. We're looking at the new Franklin A Power S battery. So Tristan, it's good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you. And uh, really excited to learn more about the new A Power S battery. So tell me, what is new or what has changed from the A Power 2, which was released late last year, to the new A Power S? Yeah, well, it's a huge development for Franklin WH because we're moving into the DC coupled space. So as you know, Franklin has a reputation as being one of the best batteries for the AC coupled retrofit. But with this, we've actually integrated a multi-mode hybrid inverter into the enclosure, right? So we still have this exactly same battery as A Power 2 inside of here, 15 kilowatt hours of storage, 10 kilowatts continuous discharge, same warranty that everyone knows and loves, but we have the ability to connect PV directly into this battery. Okay, I mean, that, that, that's a pretty big game changer. <laughs> yeah, it is. Pretty big game changer. I mean, it may, maybe technically the capability was, was mostly here already, but I think, I think for installers, that's gonna be huge. So basically you can take high voltage DC from solar, bring that directly in DC format to the battery, uh, and then do you still have all the other auxiliary functions that you had, like the generator support and the smart circuit control? Exactly, so all of the features that we have are still available through the A-Gate. Uh, this product is really intended for the new solar and storage installations, right? So we wanna focus on less boxes on the wall, you know, being able to have it all controlled through the Franklin ecosystem. So we have four MPPTs in here. The voltage range is 60 to 600 volts DC and each MPPT can accept 15 amps. So really what that means is you have a very wide range for stringing. Basically you can work with any residential solar module and enough flexibility on your string size as well. Well, that, that's huge. That's huge. Uh, what, what you said I think is spot on. I know because we've, we've been covering the Franklin batteries ever since they, they came to the US market here. And that's what I would have said previously as well. Franklin is a, is a great choice for AC coupling on retrofit storage. Let's say you already have solar panels on your roof. You don't want to have to rewire the roof. You basically can tap in your battery AC coupled at ground level without invalidating the warranty of whatever might already be on the rooftop. But now talking about for new installs, this is going to be a lot faster for solar installers if they can just wire high voltage strings on the rooftop not have to necessarily worry with module level power electronics or, or a separate grid tie inverter for the solar and be able to just control everything here. Exactly, it's really just all in one in this enclosure. So we're pairing around 20 kilowatts DC of PV uh, to one of the A Power S's. And when your PV is producing, we actually can go up in the continuous discharge capability to 11.5 kilowatts. So at night, when you're only relying on the battery it's gonna be that 10 kilowatt continuous and that 15 kilowatt surge for 10 seconds. Um, but during the daytime, we can go up to 11.5 continuous, which is quite nice. And one other feature that's really great about both the A Power 2 and A Power S is the charge rate from the solar system. So we actually have an eight kilowatt charge rate for both batteries, which really allows the homeowner to charge it up to full capacity in a much quicker way, right? So helpful, you know, if they need to participate in a VPP, and they want to have a lot of capacity to discharge and then boost back up for normal TOU arbitrage. Um, but really, having that wider catching net is another distinct selling point with the A Power S and 2. Makes sense, makes sense. Well, you know, we're, we're here in Southern California, and ever since the loss of net metering here in California, you know, pretty much everything is going to batteries now, right? And I think that's why an, an integrated product like this makes sense, because if you're, if, if you're going to install solar in California now, if you're doing a new system, you're going to have storage with it, right? In almost every case, you're going to have storage with it. So by being able to do the storage component and the, the grid tie inverter, uh, PV inverter component in a single appliance, again, I think saves installers a lot of cost. Now, I know you can't give me exact pricing, but in terms of overall cost for a complete system install, what impact is this new integrated design having compared to in the past where maybe you had to pair the Franklin battery with, let's say, a solar edge or an Enphase inverter for the solar? 
Yeah, it's a great question. And I don't have the exact cost analysis because there's a lot of factors that go into that. But what we can say is it's going to be significantly less in price. And that's going to help drive the adoption of our brand uh, across the board. Because you know we, we hear the feedback from installers. Uh, they love the AC coupled solution. They've been asking for a DC coupled solution. Uh, as a simple entry point for in California specifically, homeowners that are exploring solar. And when you're exploring solar in California and other more mature markets, storage is a key element of that, right? So our goal is to offer you know, a value solution for those types of clients. And you know, we have to talk about the meter caller a little bit because the A-Power S is going to be available with our meter caller solution later this year. Uh, so we are working with two independent vendors um, so that you can really avoid the cost of relocating the circuits, right? Uh, this is going to okay. give them, ideally, a whole home backup because of the capacity, because of the continuous power output, uh, and without that additional cost of having to move all your circuits, right? So that, in a whole, is going to be really the most valuable solution for kind of an entry-level point solar and storage product project. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah, no, I think it's incredible. So that, that means basically everything can also then be controlled and monitored just on the Franklin app, right? You're not going to have a separate solar app. Exactly. So, you know, we, we love our uh, PV inverter partners, um, and we do show real-time PV production. But with this, we're actually going to be able to see string-level production. We're going to be notified of any faults that happen within a specific string. Uh, and it's all going to fall under that Franklin ecosystem through the monitoring portal, which will be nice. Great, and like you said, with, with the A-Gate, you're still getting the smart circuit option, you still get the generator recharge option. Exactly, so all of the features that everyone knows and loves, smart circuits, uh, the generator module integration, now we have our V2L integration as well, um, all are still available through the A-Gate. Right? And additionally, to couple with existing uh, AC solar systems. So even if a homeowner has a legacy PV system, but they want to add PV and battery, uh, we can also work with existing systems. Great. Well, really exciting. So, new higher capacity battery, 15 kilowatt hour capacity battery, AC couple and DC couple functionality, basically can do the battery inverter function and can do the solar inverter function now, all with one appliance. Yep. Now, if you want to scale the system up, if you want to scale the system up, would you expand it with multiple A-Power S's or would you, would you mix A-Power S with A-Power 2's? Yeah, it's a great question. So you really can do both. It depends on the homeowner's needs. So you can have up to 15 A-Power S's to a single A-Gate. Uh, you can just do two A-Power S's if it's a very large solar system or even a light commercial application. Uh, and that's going to, again, reduce the cost of an external PV inverter. Or you can do a combination of the two, which is going to be an A-Power S with maybe an A-Power 2, multiple A-Power 2s. And that's going to scale in an AC fashion where you're going to get both power and capacity. Uh, which is really, really nice. So now the Franklin ecosystem really is uh, available to offer a solution for every homeowner's situation, which is nice. Great. Well, you know, another, another advantage of having the DC coupled option is, of course, you're going to get much more efficient solar to battery charging, right? You're not going to have all these different DC to AC, AC to DC conversions for the, for the battery charging. Uh, explain a little bit for the audience what scenario, what scenario would you want to expand this system using A Power S only versus where you would want to mix and match A Power 2 and A Power S? Yeah, so an individual A Power S is likely going to be used when you have uh, a system that's going to be 20 kilowatts DC or less of new solar and adding storage. Uh, additionally, you might want two A Power S's if you're going to exceed that PV uh, demand. So if it's a very large home, you're talking a 30 kilowatt PV array. Uh, and they're looking at storage as well, you can do multiple A power S's. So, now, so if in terms of solar input, it's max 20 kilowatts DC correct. solar input, but, but the inverter AC output is 11.5? Correct. Okay. okay. Yeah. There's a lot of numbers being thrown around, yeah. So generally, uh, A power S is going to be for new solar or storage installation, um, and that's going to be less than that 20 kilowatt DC. If you want multiple, it's going to be exceeding that PV input, right? So you'd be splitting your PV resource between multiple A power S units, and then you're going to be getting an additive output um, of 11.5 really times two, right? So at 23 kilowatts capability. Now, if you wanted an A power two, it's really going to be for the retrofit scenario, as we always have focused on okay. an existing PV inverter. Um, you're going to just plug and play with our AC battery, and you're, you're good to go. Um, the combination is going to be a little more nuanced, right? So 
the homeowner is looking for a new solar and storage installation. They only have enough roof space for less than that 20 kilowatt DC, but they require a lot of capacity um, and power. They're going to be utilizing a single A Power S and one, two, three, however many A Power Twos you might require for that additional power and capacity. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I can imagine a lot of homeowners, especially those that have large homes with multiple central air conditioning units, they're going to want, you know, probably two batteries or more mm -hmm. just to have that additional storage capacity. Uh, and if it's going to be a larger PV array, I could see wanting to split the PV so that there's, you know, avoid any potential clipping loss or anything like that. Exactly. Yeah. If you're maxing out the PV input on here, you're going to be more focused on your winter months and the production over the winter time because clipping could occur in the summer months. But that's really the flexibility of now this ecosystem, right? They can divvy up whatever their needs might be. A lot of it can come down to really the solar resource. Um, but then the next thing that they want to consider is, how much load do I have? Do I have multiple HVAC units? Do I need that large LRA, the, the continuous power that A Power S and multiple A Power Twos are going to give me, right? So I, all of these factors you know, allows us to really meet any customizable need, which is our focus. Great. Well, folks, you've seen it here first. This is the new Franklin A Power S high capacity lithium iron phosphate battery, AC and DC coupling, meaning this, this will be your solar inverter as well as your battery inverter charger, all on a single appliance, all on a single app. Uh, Tr Trish, and I, I, think, I think installers are really going to receive this product well. Yeah, we've gotten a lot of great feedback here at the show, and you know we're really excited to get this out and into installers' hands uh, later this year. Speaking of, so where, where can they buy it? Yeah, so it's going to be available through all of our major distribution, distribution channels, uh, where people are currently purchasing Franklin product is where you're going to get this. Uh, and we are expecting it to be readily available um, towards the end of 2025. So folks, this is the new Franklin A Power S battery. Uh, folks, of course, if you're getting good value from these videos that you see on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Uh, also, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, we're going to be doing a couple dozen videos just this week here at Inner Solar. Uh, and of course, the reason we're here is to make sure that you guys can all stay up to date with all the latest product releases and product information. Uh, but that pretty much does it for today's video. Tristan, thanks for your thanks, time. Thanks, Joe. Great to see you. Yeah. And as always, guys, Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.